You are watching Area DMG. Welcome back to your Area DMG. I am your host, Phil Pussy, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to take a look at, well, the recently released Champions. There's a, you know, from Breath of the Wild, there's a Mifa, there's Revali from, you know, the whole Revali's Gale type thing. There is Urbosa and Daruk. Daruk, Daruk is on fire. Anywho, these are the four champions from the Legend of Zelda, the Breath of the Wild. Or rather, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. There is a Champions Ballad DLC coming out. We don't know many details about these yet, but these also, uh, here's what they do. They actually have some items that they unlock as well as new types of weapons. You can get copies of their weapons, like their original weapons, and then some of the other items, which is actually pretty great, because some of the weapons that some of these characters have, excellent. They also work on other games, and we'll see what they do later on. There's some rare equipment that you can get that's related to the champion, as well as uh, other weapons that you can also get in the game without these, but you can get you can't get the equipment that these have without those. I mean, you can find, like, the swords and the bow and all that stuff and the spear and all that in the game, but you can also get them from the amiibo. So, that's a thing. Anywho, these are the four champion amiibo for uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm interested to see what these will do in the upcoming... Uh, DLC, because apparently they are also related to that in some way, but we don't know yet, because Nintendo's being cagey about details, so, uh, yep, we'll find out. What do they do? What do they know? We'll find out. But yeah, there are four here, Mifa, Rivali, Urbosa, and Daruk, Goron, G Gerudo, uh, Rito, and Zora. Yep. Now, spoiler alert, they're kind of in the game, in uh, Breath of the Wild. If you don't know, well, you'll find out. They're great. They're great characters, though. You see a lot of them in flashbacks and uh, stuff that has to do with Zelda. And, um, oh man, looking forward to learning more about these characters. And they're, they're pretty great, actually. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's start opening these ones up. We're going to open up all four in the same video. That way you don't have to go watch a different video. You can watch it happen here. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. This is Daruk, the largest and heaviest of these amiibo. Actually, you know what I've decided to do? I'm going to show something that we haven't done ever, actually, with these amiibo. And um, I'm going to weigh them before I take them out of the package. That way, if you're a person looking to order these or whatnot, you'll kind of have an idea of what they weigh. Also, because I was kind of wondering that myself, actually. I uh, saw a thing on our Amiibo on Reddit, and they were asking about that, so, huh. Let's go ahead and get to business on that. We have a scale over here. Bing, 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 bing! Accutech. We'll turn that puppy on. Move these out of the way. Okay, let's find out how much Daruk weighs. 6.8 ounces. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Urbosa weighs 3.4 ounces. Revali weighs 3.2 ounces. And Mifu, Mifa, Mifa weighs 2.8 ounces. All together, they weigh eh, about a pound and two ounces. So, uh, do with that information what you will. And let's just slide that on out. Off the screen. There we go. Anywho, let's go ahead and get into these. We'll start with Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mifa. Okay. Mifa. Um, let's go ahead and open that up real quick. There we go. 
There we go. And this, this is Mifa. That's the front. That's the back. There's the top. There's the bottom. And uh, let's go ahead. Oh, she's actually pretty detailed. I mean, look at that. Lots of ornamental stuff. Face is a little kind of, um, hmm. But, uh, yeah, pretty interesting little details. Like the uh, the fins and then, like, the scarf type thing or whatever that shawl is. And the little necklace. Hmm. Interesting detail. Let's now open up Revolve. One of the most useful powers, actually. Um, I'm going to spoil a little bit here. Sorry about that. But each of these champions, due to a story reason, you'll get a power from each of them that you can use. Um, the powers are interesting. Mifa has this one that automatically resurrects you and heals you if you die once, and then recharges over time. Ravali has something called Ravali's Gale. that allows you to jump super high, which actually really helps with exploration. In fact, this is one of my favorite powers. And that's what he looks like. There's a top side. Pretty cocky right there, dude. And he's got like a little scarf. And the scarf has like his uh his beast, enchanted beast or whatnot on it, which is cool, a good detail. There's the bottom of that, and we'll put him over here with Mifa. Now, Daruk has something called Daruk's Protection, which allows you to block things that you normally would not be able to block up to three times. You can use his power three times, her power once, and his power three times, and then they come back over time. Ha! Ah, look at that. He's, an, he's got an Audi. Anyways, this is the back of him. Check out the details on that sword. He is very high quality. Oh, his, uh, his um, beast is here. And he's pretty happy to see everyone. He's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, wait, actually, let's check that. Ah, let's see. Let's take a look at Mifa again. Yep, she's got a little elephant there for her. Uh, wow, that's some really nice detail they've got there. And then Urbosa has a Urbosa's Fury, which um, sets out a bunch of ele like an electrical storm. You can use that like three times. It's interesting stuff. But yeah, these little powers they uh, they rekindle over some time. And as you can see, Urbosa has a has her. Um, great beast or divine beast embroidered on that little blue scarf thing. Ah, oh, check out that shield. That shield is amazing. Here is side. That shimtar is pretty cool. There's her face. There's her top. Over here we have the bottom of the amiibo. And yeah, look at that shield. That is pretty darn detailed. And you can get that shield and that sword from this amiibo. Just as you can get this sword from this amiibo, this bow from this amiibo, and this uh, the spear from this amiibo. But yes, these are the three champions of Hyrule, and they pilot the Divine Beasts. At least they would pilot the Divine Beasts to kill Calamity Ganon, but story stuff. But yeah, there you go, there you go. Oh, and just so people wonder, let's go ahead and uh, let's bring that scale back real quick. There we go. Ha! Had to reach over and get it. Okay, Mifa, out of the package, weighs 1.0 ounces. Rivali weighs 1.2 ounces. Urbosa weighs 1.5 ounces. And our boy Daruk over here weighs 4.4 ounces. He is a hefty and detailed dude. Together, they weigh 7.8 ounces. Why is this important? I don't know, but it's kind of a cool little thing to know, right? Absolutely. So, uh, are you a fan of uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Are you going to pick up any of these? Let me know in the comments below. Which one of the champions is your favorite? Um, yeah, which of these is your favorite out of the different champions? I know, I know. None of these are the two main characters that you run into that we really want Amiibo for. 
we all know Cass, right? Everyone's favorite bird person with like the uh, with the accordion, who's awesome. Kind of a shame he didn't get like an amiibo, cause I that would be awesome, cause Cass is awesome. Anyways, let me know in the comments below which of these champions is your favorite, and uh, what you think of them. And uh, make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already, hit that share button if you haven't already, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and if you hit that subscribe button, rock that bell, rock that bell, so that you are notified whenever we have a brand new episode of Area DMG. And until the next episode of Area DMG comes out, you are now caught up.